Transformational leaders are leaders of the future. And Udum Emmanuel, governor of Akwaibum State, fits into this mode. Like the leaders of Dubai and other developed countries, Udum Emmanuel builds infrastructure for the future. One of such infrastructure is the 21-story Dakada Tower in Uyo, recently commissioned by the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemil Simbajo, S-A-N-G-C-O-N, in commemoration of the 34th anniversary of the creation of Akwaibu. The tower exemplifies one of the robust efforts by a 21st century centric leader to create enduring infrastructure to meet the developmental needs of the people. An intelligent building in every ramifications. It was handled by a Turkish construction company, VKS, as a magical architectural design in the land, the first of its kind in the country. During its stages of construction, it became a testament of the wealth and job creation design of Governor Emmanuel, as it had created direct and indirect job opportunities to the people of Akwaibum State. With its completion, it is expected to contribute in the area of housing infrastructural development, as it is expected to house oil and gas companies and serve as a ready heaven for other multinational companies. The intelligent building meets the specifications of a smart technology compliant edifice. The tower is one of the tallest buildings in Nigeria. It was built to accommodate the numerous international oil companies, IOCs, exploring oil in the state, but choosing to keep their offices in Lagos and other cities, such as Exxon Mobil. We will check the ownership of the IOCs. Only because you see any IOC putting building, lots of building, no, not at all. Then they can, they are allowed to make this mold. They are allowed to pay rent. So whenever we go to talk to them, when are you coming? At least even if you leave the 40%. From your foreign land, there is a great 60% here. They were complaining, we can't do this, we can't do that. But we don't have office accommodation. Today, no excuse means today. And I want to believe, you will take just one statement from the Vice President on behalf of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for the Tafina Air to relocate here. Next to Mobile to come down here. Savannah to come down here. Universal Energy to come here. Corn oil must come here. We have the smartest building they can think of. What is instructive to note is that these giant oil companies give a common reason for not relocating to the state. Lack of office accommodation. Mr. Udum Emmanuel, the governor of Akwaibum State, has exhausted this needless justification with this building. There were a lot of people, the naysayers, so many people, when we started, they said this building will never be completed, and I laughed. And I laughed. Today, we are presenting to Akwaibum people in Nigeria, in the last world. Everywhere, all over the world, the smartest, the most intelligent, the most modern building Nigeria can boast of today is in Akwaibo State. The governor's idea reveals that the tower was embarked upon with a clear blueprint of stimulating the economy of the state. The vice president's speech at the commissioning of the Dakada Tower was both a riposte to the prayers of Governor Udumi Manuel and a subtle directive to the international oil companies operating in the state. The completion of the Dakada Tower will most definitely address the questions of the of world-class office accommodation 
for both local and corporate international companies, especially oil and gas companies. We have this development with the big players in corporate Nigeria, and especially in the oil and gas industry, should now find it entirely auspicious to relocate their administrative headquarters to New York. This tower is a state-of-the-art smart building, as we've heard, combining architectural beauty with the latest technology developed for smart and efficient workspaces. I hear that various expressions of interest have already been received from companies in oil and gas, banking, and in all the various sectors of the company. It happens my heart to know that the investment in the Dakota Tower is already yielding returns. This will certainly boost the revenue for the state and open doors for further investments. It is expected that this message by Professor Simbajo would redirect the attitude of the IOCs towards the state. The Commissioner for Special Duties, the Honorable Opulum Ete, gave insights into the structure to include four passenger lift of three meters per second speed, the fastest around the country, two staircases for emergency exits, technical buildings, driver's lounge, security offices, and a visitor's bay. The commissioner said that the interior component of the complex has office spaces in almost all the floors, measuring between 600 square meters on the 21st floor to 300 square meters on the 19th floor and 150 square meters on the 14th floor, among others, to make room for as many end users as may indicate interest for tenancy. The government has also proposed a few years free tenancy deal for tenants, meaning that any company given the facility must show proof that it can rent the facility in spite of the concessions. This undermoded tower is situated on a massive side area of 48,000 square meters, 4.82 hectares. It is an ICT supplier intelligence structure with 24 hours power supply. It is 104 meters high with 21 floors of residential office space, surrounded, surrounded by a podium which includes restaurants, banks, and an equipment convenience services. Today, I want to congratulate you. I want to congratulate the people of Akwaibu State for what is happening here. It's leadership. Some may not see it, but in a couple of years, hence, they would appreciate what has been done here. You are representing the fears of the Akwaibu by providing an ambience that is conducive enough for him to carry out the development. You have, in spite of the security challenges that we have across the country, and a year of such security challenges in Akwaibo. It takes a lot, as a former governor, I know what it takes for him to create that ambience. The 21-story small field located in the heart of Akwaibo State as part of the 24th anniversary celebration of the state creation. And I take this opportunity to congratulate the state of Akwaibo. The complex also has 800 kVA standby generators and two ready transformers to link the complex to the national grid through the Ibom Tropicana axis of the city. The 21-story architectural masterpiece is run with energy serving control mechanism and a 24-hour power supply. smart building, access into the premises is automated as all visitors can only gain entry with coded access cards linked directly to the floors indicated by the visitors, while bomb bearers will also be activated for added safety and security within the premises. 
Skyscrapers the world over serve as ambient environments for offices, hotels, residential spaces, and retail spaces. A giant in the sky of Uyo, the Dakada Tower will illuminate the entire financial district and its environs and stimulate the economy of the area. Food vendors, contractors, and other businessmen now have a hub to transact their businesses. On the tour, the higher you are, the more you can see. Like most skyscrapers, the tour will provide its inhabitants with those end-of-day views to savour and ponder as they work. an office accommodation which any international company would want to use and to operate in the state. So with this building, we believe that more multinationals will be attracted to move to a point of state. The governor created a height for himself, but he has surpassed the height. We are so far that time. And today, this is evidence that we are here to take this seat higher and higher. Our governor is the man who sees tomorrow, as it's been said many times. He has seen uh, the future of Aqua Ibom State. He has put in place this uh, building, another infrastructure for the good people of Akwaibu State, coming from uh, the oil producing uh, part of uh, the country. So it's something very great for us. It's something very pleasant in our eyes. It's something that we cherish. And thank God for the vision. And thank God for what he has uh, uh, done for us through His Excellency, the governor of Akwaibu State, the Kurodong Gabriel Emanuel. Among the earlier visitors to the office complex was former President Umushwagun Obasanjo. While speaking during an inspection of the 21-story smart building during his private visit to the state, Obasanjo commended the innovations of Governor Odum Emmanuel, stating that the facilities are unprecedented in the whole of the country. This will be the beginning of many good things to happen in this state. When you have a building like this, business will come. And when business comes, uh, when business comes, then prosperity will continue to be the uh, uh, what will follow. And um, I congratulate the, the governor for bringing this type of uh, uh, building in. Uh, acquired bomb state and the state capital. Since his arrival in 2015 as governor, Mr. Udum Emmanuel has not lost sight of his vision to change the narrative of Akwaibom from a civil service dependent economy to an industrial hub in the Gulf of Guinea. No fewer than 18 functional industries have been either completed or are at various stages of completion. This is considerably a major leap, considering that none was there before or since the creation of the state in 1987. Some of the industries include the Jubilee Syringe Factory, commissioned on the 23rd of September 2017 by the Vice President, Yemio Simbajo, with a capacity of 400 million syringes a year. King's Flower Mill, also commissioned by Vice President Professor Yemi Sibajo, as part of the activities to mark the state's 32nd anniversary in 2019, and the 500 tons per day capacity King's Flower Mill in honor. Very special pleasure and privilege to formally commission the King's Flower Mill factory for the benefit of all of the people of Akwaibom State and Nigeria and to the glory of God. 
The Mitrin Manufacturing Solutions in Ona has the production capacity of 6 million meters annually, obviously more than what is required in Akwaibum. Just as the Greenwell Technologies is a fertilizer blending plant inaugurated on June 3rd, 2018, as part of the activities to celebrate the governor's fourth year in office, the fertilizer blending plant has an annual production capacity of 400,000 metric tons of fertilizer and is located at Ukwabak in a back local government area of the state. Though not yet commissioned, the St. Gabriel Coconut Oil Factory will generate over 1,300 direct jobs and 3,000 indirect employment opportunities when it starts operation. The coconut factory has a capacity of processing 300,000 coconuts per shift, which will produce 66 tons in a day from three shifts of production, while employing 300 people to work in each of the three shifts. Other industries include the Igum Agricon Rice Mill, located at Asantum Utrikbe in a local government area, the Dakada Cottage Industry, which is a cluster of industries that produce items such as pencils and toothpicks, plastic containers, tissue papers, located at its local government area, as well as the Lions Plywood and Timber Factory, commissioned by the Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Osimbajo. This is also one of those very far-sighted ideas that I believe uh, will definitely lead to the great progress of the state. I also want to urge uh, the Chinese investors that um, this is a great opportunity to transfer technology. We really know that all of our people, our young men and women who are here, are very skilled and can be unskilled. forward to a lot of the young men and women, not just of this locality, but the rest of Akwaibom in Nigeria, being involved in this growth and expansion of industry by their being incorporated into what is going on in all of these factories, and especially this one. It is my very special pleasure and privilege to be commissioned the Lion Plywood and Timber Factory for the benefit of the people of Akwaibom State of Nigeria and to the glory of God. Recently, a group of senior editors and journalists from the northern part of the country arrived the state on facts finding. And one of them, a former Minister of State for Information, Ibrahim Dazuki Nakande, told reporters that the visit was to afford them an opportunity to have a first-hand experience on the developments in the state and the secret behind the peaceful disposition of its people. One of the places they visited was, of course, the Dakada Towers. Alhaji Nakande said they would be able to convey their experiences to their people in their respective states to enable them appreciate the need to promote peace and give room for development to thrive. Our visit here uh, to Akwa Ibom State has been a very, very big eye opener to what good governance is all about in Nigeria. Uh, this visit, uh, I, I would say, is a major handshake uh, across the Niger, and I believe that, um, and uh, for what we have had and what we have seen, uh, you are truly the Nostradamus of our time. That is the man who saw the world. We have seen several projects already in less than 24 hours. We have many more to see, but already there are some unforgettable scenes. Beginning with the top, the Dakada top, the, the most uh, 
what was the word? The smartest building in Nigeria. This one, I wish for in my state. <laughs> and also the highly futuristic international airport built to accommodate a million passengers there with all the state of the art and the smartest security and navigational and transportation and all other facilities. Honestly, if one had not seen it, it would have been difficult to hear and believe that there was such a project. Since we came in, we've been visiting projects from one project to another. We have not rested. And I can tell you, see it is believing. During a visit by major players in the oil and gas sector to the state last year, the Minister of State for Petroleum, Chief Dieprié Silva, had the following assurances to Governor Emmanuel. It is a great thing you have done, and we will encourage you. The GMD of the NNPC was already considering when we were coming that he is going to move some aspects of NMPC to take residence in that building. So you can see that the NMPC is ready for this partnership with Aquaibom State. Like the Burj Al Arab and Burj Khalifa in Dubai, the Dakata Tours will therefore be an avenue for psychological escape in an unburdened manner. Other exclusive features installed in the building include card readers, fireproof doors, central standalone server workstation, time attendance readers, automated cards, automated turnstiles and humidity and temperature sensors in all the floors. Fire safety is given a top notch with the availability of fire electric pumps, FM200 clean agent automatic fire suppression systems, fire extinguishers, intelligent smoke detectors, protection sprinkler system and a fire alarm panel connected to the CCTV room. The rentable office floor spaces are of different sizes, 600, 300, and 150 square meters, respectively. With this giant in the sky of Uyu, Governor Don Emmanuel's credibility fits into the thoughts of Sheikh Al Maktoum that good leadership puts the interests of the community as a whole before those of any specific group. Credibility of leadership can only be established through action and not words. and infrastructure, new roads and bridges linking communities to opportunities, facilities designed for the world's leading businesses, and factories established through partnerships to create jobs and add value to the economy. We're building a bright, inclusive future where Aquiabum stands as the gateway to the region and the hub for West Africa. We're committed to that vision, and we're well on our way to arriving at that destination. Aquaibum. Amen. Madakanda. These confessions.